Good evening ladies, gents and Pikachus. I just wanted to make a little video about some of the disgusting behaviour and comments I've been seeing from our friends, the rather upset Muslims. So um, some of the things that I've been seeing is when they make outright threats, that obviously gets reported and disappears immediately. But then what they like to do is follow up with an insincere threat. So personally me, I've been getting people inviting me to speaker's corner so I can be stabbed and then later on inviting me in a more polite way without mentioning the stabbing. But it's like, guys, this is how you are representing your faith and your God. You're representing your faith and your God like a criminal, like some kind of two-bit thug from a 70s gangster movie. It doesn't impress anyone. And it just makes me think I'm absolutely right to read the Quran of the Muslims and be absolutely derisory towards it because it does that to you. Don't tell me that when you were born you felt that angry and hateful. Don't tell me that when you were a child you felt that ang ang angry and hateful naturally. But for some reason you went from that nice, innocent, polite child to this horrible, angry criminal, murderous criminal that you are now. Hateful, racist criminal. That doesn't happen by accident. The Quran of the Muslims is the reason why you became that. And why you are proudly flaunting your disgusting, hateful attitude. But we all know, everyone knows, Muslims don't like fair debate. Islam cannot stand up to scrutiny. That is why when people argue successfully against you, you attack them by stabbing them in the back or in the neck. Or you catch them in an alley in the dark or something like that. I've seen it a million times. YouTube is littered with speakers who don't want to go to Speaker's Corner anymore because you guys lost a debate with them and then they got stabbed. That is how Muslims win debates. You lose the actual debate and then you just stab the person. Even in um, places like Australia, it wasn't so long ago where Bishop Mary Emmanuel was stabbed in the eye for saying something true out of the Quran. He literally quoted the Quran and got stabbed for it. So this is the face of Muslim debate in today's world. It's violent. I won't stand for it. So make all the stupid threats you want, hide behind your little you know, your insincere comments and your fake account. Invite me to Speaker's Corner so I can exchange weapon blows with you, but what's that going to solve? Do you honestly think that kind of thing is going to make people like Islam more? Do you think it's going to stop people leaving Islam? Of course not. It's going to make more people leave Islam. But the difference is, they're just not going to tell you. They're not going to warn you. They're just going to disappear one night and you won't see them again. And I support them doing that if all you have to offer the conversation is violent threats and insincere bullcrap like those comments that you sent to me. You don't deserve to be... You don't deserve any chance to explain yourself. These people should just leave in the middle of the night and never look back because what are they missing out on if they leave behind you? They're missing out and leaving behind a criminal. A violent, racist, hateful, brainwashed cultist who is murderous and violent and deserves everything that they're going to get when they finally meet God. That's the end of this video. You guys, I'm sick of saying you disgust me personally, but you actually just disgust decent people in general. And that's why people won't come to Speaker's Corner to debate you. People won't invite you onto their podcast to debate you. Nobody's going to take any of your debate arguments seriously when the only thing you have behind them, rather than truth, like most of us do, is cowardice. Stabbing people in the back, attacking women, stabbing women in the neck, beating up children, having massive gangs attack school teachers like elderly school teachers. This is the face of Muslim debate and it's a fucking ugly, disgusting face. So if that's all you've got, no, I don't want to debate you because I know you won't listen to a word. If you could read and understand accurately, you wouldn't need me to come and educate you in a debate. You'd just read and understand and you would know the truth, but you don't. And that's just you. That's just the face of Muslim debate. So that's the end of this video. I was going to say I hope you learn something, but I know you're not going to learn anything. You Muslim scholars and debaters, you never fucking learn anything. If you were going to learn, by now you would have. So I think the only thing is that it's important is that we learn from you. Decent, good, moral people who follow the law and aren't violent, racist, hateful psychos and thugs. We should learn from you, not to become like you. 
not to let stupidity and anger and brainwashing and propaganda pull the wool over our eyes, allowing us to be led around the nose by a demon called Allah, led into all kinds of sins, because at the end of the day, when we finally meet God at the end of our life, we don't want to be damned by the things we've said or done, and that's going to be you. That's the end of this video. What a shame I had to make this video. What a shame you think this is a good way to behave. Or maybe you don't think. Maybe Allah has done all the thinking for you already in his Quran of the Muslims. Disgusting. Get out of my sight. Fucking dick. Muslims like you have no honour. You bring shame to everyone who sees your face. You just bring shame to us all. Shame on you.